Hello about bugs, it's Jade. Welcome to Memories of Mars, available now on Xbox and the PlayStation. This game has been in early access nearly two years on PC. It is a PvP multiplayer game where you are running around the surface of Mars trying to get resources so you can get better items, better armor, and basically better gear to take on other players and finish and conquer the rest of the game. It's online only as far as I know. I do believe you can rent your own private servers. We take a little look on the online server right now you can see it's got a maximum of 32 players on the official servers so not the largest servers they I'm sure they had larger players during early access but it looks like that's the sweet spot at the moment it's gonna be a bit tough really reviewing this because there just still isn't a bit of a player base on PC at the moment if you haven't worked out I am playing on PC but I am using an Xbox controller definitely do with a player injection and I'm hoping that this game really will be like rust very much in space or set on Mars Okay, so here we are. That's the start. That's the intro. Got a little bit of a tutorial, picking up items like med kits and stuff like that. So you are a clone of some sort. And the idea, I'm guessing, is bred in a facility of some sort. I'm trying to work out what's going on. Put my helmet on, obviously. We're on Mars. Going to need oxygen. Now, that plays a big part of the game. That's what makes it more of a survival game. You can eat and drink, and you need oxygen, obviously, to stay alive. You can see the three bars at the bottom. You've got health, oxygen, and nutrition. Nutrition is pretty much your stamina, I do believe. Uh, and then, obviously, oxygen as well. It's pretty important when you're in space. No one can hear you poo because uh, you can't. Oh, hello. Are you right, mate? Okay, right. I've got a gun. I've got a gun. And there we go. Put some bandages on. That's it. Let's get rid of them cracks. Auto glass repair, auto glass replacement. Are they disappearing now? Equip your ration pack. Okay, I've got a ration pack as well. So that's oxygen. Okay, that one there. There we go. And I'm going to just equip the gun. We'll, we'll equip everything we can because it's going to be doing that, isn't it? So D pads to switch between what you want. Consume that as well. Oh no, I didn't say eat it, it just said equip it. That's all I had to do. Equip your oxygen tank as well. There we go. Got my oxygen tank. Job done. Consume the ration pack. Okay, now we do it. Okay, so RT everything. Yeah, yeah, get that sweet baby food in my belly. And then uh, I guess re fully restore your oxygen meter. So there's my oxygen meter going up, the green bar, all the way to the top. It's pretty forgiving, really. Like, you'll find lots of these out in the world. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem unless you get caught up in a, a firefight or something of some sort. Right, so we're looking around for. Um, oh, I don't know. This is weird. What's what going on here? Oh, oh! So these are all the other clones. Obviously, we're not going to be rescuing them today. No, sorry. Right, I've got a flashlight. Nice. Okay. Uh, go through the cloning facility. Okay, is that it? We're, we're out of here. Any other rations to be taken or anything to pick up? Doesn't look like it. We're going to head out. Let's go. Okay. Oh, got a bit of parkour. Okay, so jump X button, circle or the. Um, Circle, circle, or the what's the button? The blue button, red button on the uh, Xbox B button. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot that. Mobile printer is pretty important. That's how you're going to craft all your stuff. This is a resource. So we've got iron ore and we've got lots of gear there. That's pretty much how we're going to gather everything up. Medical pack, yep, yeah, got that one too. Okay, so now we just got to make one of these ones. So equip the printer to our action bar. 
There we go. And then what? We'll just plunk it down. So hold it. And that's how we're going to make our stuff. Okay, access the bar. Okay, so we can make ingots from the raw iron that we just had. So it does it automatically. And then we're going to make ammunition. So you need nitrate and iron ore to make ammunition. So we've got one big round of ammunition. Okay, cool. And it says take the printer with you. So let's do that. So pick it, hold the X button or the square button. And uh, we'll pick that one. There we go. Okay. And now I'm guessing we've got power to a gun. Yeah, reload. RB. R1. Open shutters. Let's go, fam. Oh, no. Oh, I've got to shoot it. There we go. Oh, it does vault. You don't have to jump like a numpty. Okay, so we're doing it again. Putting the, the old thing down. There we go. Access it. Pick up flops from the table. Maybe I should do that first. So I'm um, loads of more iron. That looks a bit different. Now, flops used to be how you protect your base while you was offline. Now, I've changed that now. It's no longer an offline base raiding game. That's the big difference between this and like Rust or Ark or Conan where you can get raided offline. Um, they've got PvP zones now. So it is very different. Uh, you have to go into the PvP zones quite regularly to do certain things. And so they're kind of hoping that's going to be enough action. Um, but they did see, I did see some talk in Discord saying that they may open up some other servers that are completely PvP. Because some people really enjoy that. I'm pretty glad it doesn't have that. Um, let's go to our skill trees. Okay, the skill tree is pretty big. The UI is a little bit small. Like, it's not very well explained, I've got to say. I think it could be a little bit bigger but hey ho and learn the pulse excavator okay where's the pulse excavator is that it oh there it is there it is it's highlighted in white bosh so we're going to purchase it with the flops i do believe yeah so the flops are used for buying stuff now as you say you can get more resources or blueprints because now we can craft one up let's uh do this there we go, it's getting up. So it costs eight metal ingots, basically. And then we'll go into inventory. Can we put that in a bar? There we go. So we've got, got our bars there as well, and that's it. We can now gather some mining ore. So yeah, at least it's not a metal pick. It's one of my big complaints. I think it's why survival games don't do well sometimes in space. Because you're in space in the future, yet you're still running around just mining with a pick. So at least they've mixed it up a little bit. We're mining with a, a decent little vi uh, little, uh, little space age gun. To use a pulse, so if we build a, a second one, we'll get much better, more results if we get the upgraded version. Okay, that's pretty bog standard. Right, we've got that out of the way. I'm going to pick up my little uh, thing. So, bad guys. Job done. And so we've got to take off the remains of this guy using this. Use a cutting torch for them. So if scuttlers or wreckage of creatures, uh, creatures, robots, then yeah, you've got to use a, a cutter. We've got a welding tool. Okay, cool. Equip the welding tool to our, our thing. Oh, LT to do it. LT. So we're actually taking it down. Okay, so that's how you can get rid of base parts. And you can see we've got a few bits of iron and stuff like that from that. Okay, cool. Open your skill tree, learn the square platform. I've got to unlock it in the skill tree first. Duh. Okay, there we go. So it costs 160. What does it cost? 40. It costs 40 um, flops. Okay. So that's it. Now we can go to building. And now I can actually unlock it that way. Ah, and this is how we're going to get out. Okay. Okay, I get you. And then it's... I like this blueprint system. I like it when games do this. So you've got to get the welding tool out to uh, bring it up. And so you've got two different um, bars, basically. You've got a building hot bar, which is cool. You can put all your building stuff there if you want to build. And then you've just got your hot bar for your regular items, which I quite like. So this is how you build your blueprints up. You've just got to keep whacking away at it with your welder once you've put the blueprint out. And then I like that idea as well. Now it says incomplete there. So if you don't complete it, it's only going to last like two hours before um, it will maybe disappear. I gained the system. I gained the system. Don't make them too tall. You won't be able to climb them. Okay, right. Let's get let's get out of here. 
Oh, right, and there's a bunch of new places, actually. Lots of these, I don't remember them having names. So you can choose where you want to spawn. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's go east. Vortex, so that it would activate itself upon your awakening. Listen, young one. Something strange is going on here on Mars. We never fully understood what caused the system failures. Time was short, too short. The solar flare was inbound. It seems like it's up to you now to find out what happened to us and the Martian colony. Search out the planet, gather intelligence, our, our memories, and send them back to Earth. I know this wasn't the original purpose you were designed for, but you are our only hope in telling our story. You might run into other young ones here in the colony that are also waking up just as you did. They will no doubt be as disoriented as you are. Help them out as much as you can. Together, you will be stronger than as individuals. This is a barren planet, but we have found resources that allowed us to survive. I'm sure you can do equally well. Good luck, young one. Stefan Fall signing off. Good luck, young one. Okay, right. Young ones. Oh, and it's took away all my stuff. So that's it. It doesn't give you any gear. Rip. Okay, right. These are oxygen tanks. This is where you need to come to get your oxygen back up and running. Um, so obviously you've got like nitrate and stuff, resources. So a lot's going on crash site. So obviously we're clones. We're trying to work out then how we um, how we're gonna basically. Um, oh, that broke my glass. Hitting, just punching something. Right. Note to self: don't punch anything. Uh, red lights mean there's no there's no gear. Green lights, I'm guessing, means there's gear. There's, there's items somewhere. So um, I guess let's see if we can craft something. Oh no, I've got a few bits and bobs. I have it just for some reason it. Uh, it took it away so let's put some stuff uh, in and then hopefully we can make ourselves a uh, skill tree let's do that have I got to unlock all that again have I that's it okay oh can make a bunch of stuff can make armor and ammo and weapons yeah let's make some ingots then I want to kind of get um, if we can get enough to make one of these bad boys what do we need for it we need four more okay so I've, I've just got to make some more ingots and we should be all right I guess maybe some bullets I haven't got any bullets for my gun have I yeah, let's do some bullets just in case we have to shoot something. So there's lots of little bog standard tutorials there. Maybe we'll come back here. And I'll, you want to pick up your thing. Always pick up your thing, guys. Just hold it, and you can just let go, and it will pick it up for you. So we've got we've got the resources. I just need to actually get an excavator going on. Did I have an excavator? No, I haven't even got one of them yet. Okay, so we'll just run around a little bit. Hopefully, not run into too many creatures. Oh, it's got iron ore. That's what we needed. That might be enough, actually, to make what we want. Although, it's a real pain in the ass having to put this box down every time. I can actually see what I'm doing. So, this, we're just going to pick up all this iron ore and get enough to build ourselves the, um, the welder. So, you can build bases. It's all freeform and stuff in it as well. Should surely have enough now. I reckon we'll have enough. I've got to do... I've got to unlock the skill. Right, okay. It's all in. Yeah, let's do that. And that's 80 credits. Have I got enough for that? There we go. Can make our excavator. Jobs are good un. Let's put the tools. That's a bit annoying. You've got to come out of the uh, the menu to go. Like, it won't let me. It won't let me just move back over. Right, so there we go. There we go. Just equip all that. Bam. Yeah, mate. Now we can actually just go. We could go back and actually get rid of some of that stuff. So everyone's going to be spawning in these sort of three points. So there we go. Cut this open. Did it say it was a, oh, it needed a cutter, not a welding iron. So we can use this for now, though. Yeah, we're getting aluminium and scrap metal from them, too. That's good. And that's it. It's only the highlighted stuff that you can actually get. Oh, someone's built a base up here. This is someone's base. I was thinking this is part of the landscape, but this isn't. This is someone's base. Let's move all the way up to the top. Oh, just a handy little walkway. Thanks, dude. I mean, I don't know where it goes. Maybe it's not going to lead anywhere, but yeah. We've got something. Okay, let's get some more resources. 
Oh, we're getting flops as well now. Okay, so we're getting flops. That's good. So you, you go and, flops like the currency, like the XP, and you gain them when you harvest stuff properly. Oh, so we've got some sort of achievement claim. Oh, so we've got extra flops. So doing the achievements or doing certain tasks, we're going to get you some bonus flops by the looks of things. We'll take a look at that now as well. Protocols are like missions. So, follow the emergency protocols to locate lost intention of the instance on Mars and transfer them back to Earth. Unlock the memory capsule in survivalist skill tree. So, interestingly, back in the day, they used to have seasons where it would wipe and you would able to put certain stuff in a memory capsule so that when you came onto the brand new fresh wiped map, you could dig up some items. They've got rid of that now, I do believe, um, but it's just another way you get stuff. So, pick up iron ore. We've done all that. There you go. So, just gain some flops because I've done that one. Keep an eye on your vital functions to fly. So I swear I've done all this. Maybe I've been giving it anyway. Maybe I've got all the flops for it. Yeah, done. So it's got a little arrow on the clock. That means you've done it all. And we can create our own alliance by pressing the right stick in. Some people have been grinding this hard. I'm guessing it all got wiped. Okay, so the protocols. There's the map. So that's where we are on the map. If we go all the way down. It's pretty big, actually. It looks small. But, obviously zoomed zoomed out a little bit, it's a lot bigger than I think it, people give it credit for. The red zones, I guess in the colours indicate how hard or difficult they might be. So the red zones will probably be pretty tough. The yellow zones are intermediate and the white zones are maybe friendly. I'm guessing that's, that's a thing. Oh, so this is platform truck. So this is like a PvP area. So I think we've got to go there if you want to go and do something. Okay, what does that sign say though? What is the sign? It's just this platform block. Don't know what that is for. But yeah, so I'm guessing that's that's the, the coup. Has crate, oh, there's loads of them. Okay, all right, all right, let's go. Got the skill tree. Can I buy any more gear? Like, is there anything I want to do? So you've got lots of optics for your guns, various different iron sights and holographic optics, foods groups and medical stuff that you can buy and upgrade, bombs, grenades, various different ones let's take a look at some of these small arms okay so you've got submachine gun ammo got various different ammo silencers muzzle brakes all sorts of stuff quick draw magazines it sounds pretty good like when you've got all these different items you can have uh, salt specialization close quarter specialization marksman so i'm guessing you can get a, a sniper rifle the hv8 slayer okay that sounds pretty good so if you want to specialize in one of them you can do um, and then we've got close quarters is going to be shotgun, isn't it? Well, it should be by rights. Handgun, okay, it's a bit of a hand shotgun. There we go, proper shotgun there as well. So, again, lots of stuff that if you want to go down that route, you can get a bayonet. Oh, nice. Okay, and the assault rifle is just like pretty much everything. Assault rifle, yeah, various different ones. So, it's like, like, like the most expensive, I mean, that's 2,500 flops to get one of the big bad boy guns at the end there. So that's pretty expensive, it is. Uh, pointman specialist, I guess this is like pistols. Okay, so you can even be a pistol dude if you wanted to. And again, they're, they're cheaper. So if you want to be a high grade submachine and pistol dude, okay. No, small arms. So this is more about like the shot types. Yeah, you've got a magnum pistol ammo, high grade pistol again. It's pretty expensive and same sort of stuff, suppressors and all the rest of it. Yeah, I want to take a look at the grenades a little bit more. Signal flare, okay. Smoke grenade, percussion grenade, fragmentation grenade, trip mine, hash, explosive charge, and concussion, demolition charge. Nice. Okay. Biochemistry. We did look at this a little bit, but it's like food and first aid kits. You know what? We're going to do that. Like, we're going to get the first aid kit because that's going to heal us back up if we've got any problems. Um, yeah, various different ones that are going to give you more. Um, and buffs as well. So you can increase buffs. Use consumables by 5%, consumption speed. Yeah, yeah, so it's all similar sort of stuff to give yourself a boost. So it's nice, you can progress your character a little bit and it's got a fair amount of stuff. As I said, got the sights and stuff like that. Tools, what other tools are there? Airbrush painting tool, wooden toolkit mark two. So just the, the upgrades to these basically. Cutting torch and then excavator mark two so we'll get more resources. And then explosive bolts, oh these look like traps. Oh, you've got crossbow ammunition as well. There's a crossbow, is there? Where's that? I want a crossbow. Three inch, a nail gun. Okay. 
All right, all right. And then we've got various different armor types. So you've got Worker's Headlight. Uh, no, we've got Enforcer's Head Protector. Mercenary Head Protector. Reduces incoming damage, that one. The Enforcer's one, reduces income damage. I guess it's got to be something different, or maybe it's just the colors. Maybe it really isn't that much different. You would think so, though, because they're more expensive. So, yeah, definitely that's got to be like the end game armor set that you want. The Mercenary Chest Protector stuff. Just look how expensive it all is. Okay. And then we've got all the building stuff, some mechanical engineering, scrap grinders, algae farms, so you can grow your own foods and stuff, blast furnace, chemical processor, laboratory, 3D injection printer. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then we've got foundations, yeah, pretty bog standard, reinforced square platform, triangles, woohoo, triangles, balconies. Hey, we could build something in space. Uh, lots of ceiling, lots of walls, half walls, doors. Apparently, who, who you needed a whole skill tree just for doors. Fortified door, fortified gate. See, a lot of this stuff is kind of a bit redundant because they don't have base raiding anymore. I can't. I really hope they 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 dial that back. I really, I've even though I don't like it, I know a lot of people that do. If they've got the balance right, having off not offline raiding but proper raiding where you can go and try and break into someone's base, even if it was raiding hours, that might work. I'm not too sure. Like Conan Exiles does that as well. So you could do fortified uh, pillar bases. Okay, how much are they? They must be expensive. No, not that expensive. All right, and then last one is survivalists. Oh my God, there's so many stats here. Uh, health regeneration increase, oxygen pool increase, bleeding damage, shot gauntlets. Oh, so if you get these ones, you can get uh, rocket boots. Right, exosuit component, reducing common damage. I think you need special blueprints one not these i could be wrong i think you've got to take out some of the end game creatures end game oh, bad guys exosuit component yeah jetpack see this is the kind of stuff i thought if when i've played this before because obviously i've played this before i thought if they could go ham on this kind of stuff it would be much better for them if they could show off like how fun it can be if you get into the game quick and everyone's just going around shooting each other jumping jetpacks and stuff it'd be cool uh, floodlight, ceiling light, holographic screen, okay devices, storage devices, crafting devices. Yes, yeah, so it's just it's just another way to branch it all out for you. Okay, cool. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the building, a skill tree, that's the map. We've gone through everything there. And then there's my equipment as well, once I'm ready. Right, I've been sitting here, my oxygen's been going down, and it's also daylight now. Wow, okay, this is nice. We can actually see the game looks like in the daylight. Okay, you know what, we're going to go back. Let's go back down to um, where we just kind of were. It's a lot harder to see certain things. Oh, no, this has gone blue now. Yeah, we can raid it. Oh, we've got nitrate from that. Nice, okay, so blue, blue is the colour, mate. Blue is the colour. And oh, we've got biomass as well and stuff just laying on the floor so this is all just spawned literally in like 10 minutes i've been upstairs projectile clip oh it's a schematic okay schematics could be good i'm guessing schematics are going to be uh can you raid like take stuff from the bodies i didn't check that i don't think you can no there's, there's nothing to be taken from the bodies is that can we that's a that's that's one of the bad guys no there's nothing else here but let's get some oxygen anyway there we go. Done. Okay, right. Now, uh, let's get my gun out. In fact, let's uh, learn that, that blueprint. So, projectile clip. How do we how do we do it? Schematic authenticator. Okay, so we've got to take it somewhere. And then we can actually learn it. So, that, that'd be good. If that's like in the PvP zone, can you imagine? The only way you can learn stuff is by taking it to the PvP zone. Where you probably will get shot. That's a bit. That, was, <laughs> that would piss people off a little bit, probably. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's how a lot of the end game loops go. I mean, it has had a big update since its 1.0 release. So we'll have to actually see what it's like in a while. It's going to take me a while to get up to any sort of stage like that. I kind of want to get some more more of this stuff. Might as well, because we're getting flops from it too. And first chance we get, we will upgrade. Although it's going to cost a lot, like 1,200 flops, whatever it is. Now, we haven't come across many enemies, obviously. Um, I'm guessing because it's a bit of a start area, so... Which is alright, it's given me a chance to get used to it and that. It's been a while. So we'll just carry on picking up nitrate and all this stuff. Uh, some of them are just player made. Oh, we've got contact robots. There's quite a lot down there. Should we try and draw this one on without aggro and all the rest of them? Let's see if I a good shot I am. There we go. Oh, I hit it. I hit it. Is he coming back? What's he doing? 
So he's running around the, the rocks. Oh. Oh, we've got that. We've got aluminium. Oh, another robot. There's loads of them. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Oh, shh. There we go. Took it down. We took it down. Just make sure something else is coming up on me. I've only got a few bullets left. I can hear something. That's that one there. Okay, right. Let's take. Let's eat. He's uh, eat him. Let's take him down. There we go. So I've only got 15 shots left. You're gonna need a lot of bullets. Let's get inside this facility if we can, without aggroing any more bad guys. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. They flip on the the wall. I think that's good. I think we took him out. Nice. Phew. Okay, so we're inside. Obviously, we're looking for anything we can use. Boxes as well. Oh, container. Let's open that. Got nitrate from that. Now, yeah, there's some containers in these as well. Oxygen. Okay, good. Let's get some oxygen stuff. Is that it? Is that all there is in this place, though? Okay, let's go up top. Nothing there to be had. Oh, more there. Nice. High energy foods. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cuisine. Oh, that's another blueprint or something. Medkit. Truce. Okay. Oh, you can harvest the screens. Yeah, you can. There you go. We get some copper. Right, that's how you get copper. So I'm guessing copper's going to be useful for something. Man, these guys have not had a good day. Lost in space. And can't even get a decent meal. Is that something I can harvest? No. It's not. Yeah, you don't look happy. Um, right, well, yeah, that was it. We've looted all this area. There's nothing really left here. I guess these containers might have stuff in them again, so we'll have to just keep coming back. Can only damage the screens that have stuff on them. All right, you know what? I'm going to hold up here. You know what? I bet I didn't pick up my kit, did I? I didn't pick it up. No, I didn't. I left it miles away. So I'm going to have to either craft one or hope there's one out here. Ooh, I can do it. Oh, that looks like a slightly bigger, big, bigger bad guy. Yeah. Mate, I'm getting dab at this. So four or five shots and they're down. And there we go guys, the ending there ended up being a little bit more of a guide or explaining of everything that's going on with a lot of the engrams, the blueprints and stuff. But it's probably useful information if you're thinking of picking it up. I think this game's got potential for sure. Enjoy the second part of No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, it's not No Man's Sky. Man, I just assume all space games are the same. Memories of Mars will be coming part two tomorrow. See you ratbags later.